We got a brand new, we got a brand new unboxing video for all of you guys. We got a brand new unboxing video. I don't know if you can see them down on the table. Well, it's an amiibo unboxing video. I don't know if you can see them all down on the table. On my small wooden table. It's kind of moving closer to the camera a bit, but we're going to unbox all, we're going to unbox all of these amiibo, including the one right in front of me. So without further ado, without further ado, we're going to do an unboxing video. Where did I get some of these? Well, some of these amiibo came from, some of these amiibo came from Target, some came from Best Buy, but let's not waste time discussing that. We can just discuss it as I unbox them. We got a Zelda Mephi, we got a Zelda Mephi, a Breath of the Wild amiibo. Let's just do that one first. Let me just open it up. I believe it's one of the ones that came from Target. It's been sitting around here for a long time. For a, yep, for a long time. Yeah. What's that? Mega Man, for, Mega Man music in the background? Yeah. She comes with a lance. She comes with a lance. Lance and all that scan, so you can scan. She comes from a lance, a little tri spirit, and that's it. Ooh, a little tri spirit, and I'm pretty sure you have lots of information. A little plastic there. Boy, I remember there was a time where Amiibo what used to be, what Amiibo used to be scalp and so on, and like crazy. But Nintendo limited to one per customer. Euros, Euros, Breath of the Wild Amiibo. Oh, the Amiibo. Oh, and I, I wasn't sure I already had this Amiibo, so I bought one. I bought one of these from Best Buy. Yeah, when I went to Best Buy, I went back there and I just thought I was gonna buy myself a, a little camcorder. I saw tons of Amiibo I didn't have. That's, and I had extra and I had money to spend, so I bought them. There's a time, there's a time that I wanted to buy like a Amiibo for, Amiibo for my collection. And by the way, I'm not really a collector. I'm not really, I do have a lot of Amiibo. I'm not really a collector. I'm just a casual buyer. I buy them if I see any I don't have, but yeah, I'll just buy them. I see what I don't have, but yeah, there's all the detail you want to know. Or I'll buy them, but, but Best Buy just had like a lot of Amiibo. The newest wave, they have a lot of the newest wave of Amiibo. I'm gonna have to get down. Let's go to King Karoo. I already have a King Karoo amiibo. I didn't bother. I didn't find the old one. I'm pretty sure I got this. I'm pretty sure I got this from Target. In fact, I, I know I did. I don't know the price of amiibo are fluctuating depending on what wave it is. I don't go. I have never. I heard of AmiiboTracker.com. Amiibo got so. Uh, there's even a website that tracks just how rare they are. I have never went to Amiibo because I got tired of people scalping Amiibo. I got tired of seeing how rare it was going. And I decided, I decided okay, I decided. But then Nintendo finally put this rule in place where it's limit one per customer. I remember seeing this video on YouTube where people were standing outside this Walmart, this Walmart store for wee hours, for like four hours in the morning. You have to be the first person in line to buy Amiibo, you know, so one person goes to the store with $500 and buy like 30 or 60, or 60 of the Amiibo they just put out because Nintendo didn't have that rule in one for customer. See, what was happening was, people were scalping Amiibo like crazy and Nintendo realized that most of the Amiibo that were just Nintendo selling products were winding up on eBay and Amazon and other places you can sell them used. And they weren't getting in the hands of people who really wanted them. There's a big problem, Scalping was. So they made that rule, it's limit one for customer. It's not just on Amiibo, it's everything. The GameCube control adapter, anything that's Nintendo, you, anything that's Nintendo, you. Even when it comes to a simple game controller. Squirtle, 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 Squirtle. Gen Run, Gen Run Pokemon. I didn't, I'm pretty sure I don't have a Squirtle Amiibo if I do, so I got another one. Most of these Amiibo, I'm probably gonna do this. Most of these amiibo, I'm probably gonna just use these in Smash Ultimate. I'm probably just gonna use it. Use these in Smash Ultimate and this. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna use them like that. Anyway, when I buy Amiibo, when I buy Amiibo, I typically want to take them out of the case. Okay. Or they just mind for them. I typically want to take them out. I don't buy them just so just look at them or how shiny they are. I buy them to use them in the in the games they're meant to be for. I don't know, I'm kind of having some issues getting the Squirtle one out. I kind of had to shake it really hard, but yeah. As for the packaging, as for the packaging on the stuff that comes with them, that's nice, but it's nice, but it's Squirtle Squirtle, Gen 1. Amiibo made in China, I believe. A lot of the Amiibo are just mass produced and made in China because it's probably cheaper to have made or something like that. So, yeah, they say, you know, they're, you know, they're created in Japan. They're not cheap plastic. They're not cheap plastic toys. They're actually toys with lots of detail, as you really can see. They're a little squirrel, anyway. They're, actually... they're just toys with inner feet. What happens is that people just be crazy. Scalpers just be crazy. You know? There's no limit, and people just start. Because Nintendo was. And some of these amiibo are only. They are the only merchandise you can give some of your favorite characters. Not every amiibo. Not every character has their own merchandise. If it's Mario, Zelda, Kirby, there's probably the more popular character, the older they are, the more merchandise. But with some of these characters, Amiibo is the only physical, the only, it's the only physical merchandise. You can and some people just want to buy Amiibo just to, for that one character they like anyway. Now, there are a few Japanese only Amiibo. I don't care to go to Amiibo Tracker. I don't care which ones came out of Amiibo. Nintendo's good about releasing them mostly in the West. They make most people happy nowadays. Ivysaur. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. It was an Ivysaur. I thought it was a Bogusaur. You can tell it. Ivysaur. Definitely gonna give, definitely gonna give him the, 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 the generic name Ivysaur next time I play Smash Ultimate. Inferno. 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 Smash Brothers Ultimate Amiibo. You know, it's kind of funny when you say all these Amiibos. They say you can use them in Smash Brothers for 3DS. It has that Martin Reef. Instead of this, it's, I mean, it's clearly meant to be using Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I don't know why. I don't know why they just don't update the picture on the back of like a Switch instead of 3DS anyway. Now, I don't think these Amiibos would work in most older games because I don't think Inferno gets a playable character in the previous version of Smash Brothers. Smash Bros. for Wii U. I don't think he's a playable character. Incineroy, Incineroy, and... I don't think he's playable. I'm pretty sure I only remember playing as him in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm glad he's a playable character. I guess he's everyone's, I guess he's, you know, everyone likes, every player goes crazy at the side of a chore sword, but... A lot of people, but a lot of people tend to like Inferno. It's like, get me a... Maybe there was a vote in Japan. I don't know why he got an amiibo. Why he's a playable character. Who cares? Smash Bros. Ultimate is a great game. I don't care about the fun facts. All this is just an unboxing video. Now, no one loves amiibo like Yachty Club Games. Oh, look at my old Shovel Knight amiibo back from 2016, 2015. It's a pretty old amiibo. It's been one of the older waves. That shovel's not exactly fixed your own, right? I was... I first got it, I broke off the show by accident. I just popped it off by accident. So I just kind of, so you can just tell it's just broke. You look at his hand that it's really, really broke off. It's not, it wasn't really meant to detach. I just kind of broke it by accident. It goes free. And then you got Spectre Knight. You got Spectre Knight. King's Knight and King's Knight. And Death Knight. I forget the, I forget what their names are on Shovel Knight. But yeah, Shovel Knight's a cool game. It's probably one of the most uh, in the game. I think it's I think it's Lynch Lord. I think it's Lynch Lord Knight. But let's just unbox these anyway. I probably really use these. If I, I probably use on Shovel Knight on the Switch version. You can't use them in every Shovel Knight version. Yeah. It's just like Yachty Club Games is always making the most Amiibo who are not Nintendo. I don't care that they're not backwards compatible. I saw Shovel Knight Amiibo 3 pack. I just had to have it. I just had to have it. Yeah, I like buying amiibos. So if I see amiibo, if I see amiibo, I don't have in my collection. I'll buy it. If I see amiibo, I'll buy it anyway. Hey, if if printing is making new waves of amiibo or making money for Nintendo, good. Nintendo should never get rid of that limit. One for 
They don't want some customer. Well, it's, it's too bad. It's too bad that people walk into a store and just go crazy and spend like, spend like $600 just for a bunch of brand new Amigo just got put out. You know damn well they're only buying them just to resell them. Well, he doesn't want to come out. I don't think he's in the original version of Shovel Knight. I think he's in the one of the upgraded version of Shovel Knight. Yep. Well, you have, well, you have, I recognize Spectre Knight. I recognize Spectre Knight. He has his own campaign. A little cool Spectre Knight. Then you have King, King's Knight who's all bling bling. You got the newer Shovel Knight Amiibo. Man, if they make more Shovel Knight Amiibo, I'll make them and they have the purple bottom. They indicate that they're Shovel Knight Amiibo. Well, you've seen the video. you see me unbox it. you see me unbox it. you see all the Amiibo. So you can uh, pick them all up once. You've seen the video. So you gotta pick them all once. They're Amiibo. They're Amiibo. They're finally been waiting to get out of their packaging. I got myself some Pokemon Amiibo. Some Pokemon Amiibo. Some Shovel Knight. Show new Shovel Knight. Amiibo to use in the news in the next video. And I finally unboxed some Amiibo that's been sitting around here for at least two or three months. So yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad how things turned out. And we have a bunch of huge packaging that probably might get probably might get thrown away, obviously. Well fun thing about this is packaging was already destroyed and cracked. I already had that cracking before I opened it. I didn't show it off of our unboxing, but hope you guys enjoyed. This. Hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it is, and I will see you in the next unboxing of video, whatever it is. It's been real.